Spirit's presence in my life has made a tremendous difference. The major concern for me before Spirit was not hearing my alarm clock. And since I have him, I sleep better because I have the confidence that he's going to wake me up faithfully every morning when the alarm goes off. I don't have to worry about fire and emergencies like that because he will alert me to those sounds. I'm not burning food like I used to. I'm not missing doorbells, not missing my grandchildren calling me. That is really important. Sometimes being out, I would feel that people thought I was being rude because I didn't always hear them speaking to me. Having spirit, I'm not interpreted as being rude to people because I don't hear them. He's my ears. He hears the sounds for me. I feel a lot more secure now than I did before. I started out with a little bit of vision loss and then I gradually had to go to a white cane. Then it seemed like my world was shrinking in on me. And I found that I was starting not to do things that I would normally do or go places that I would normally go. So I decided that it was time to look into a dog guide. Nico has really brought back my mobility, my independence. Um, he makes sure that I get where I want to go safely. He takes care of all the hazards for me. Even the routes I know, if there's any changes in the routes, construction or parked cars or anything like that, and uh, he guides me around them. So it just makes it pretty much effortless now to go for a walk and head on into work. If there's an upside to having vision loss, it's to end up with a dog guide like Nico. He's just a great dog. Living along with Wilson residents, it's really given me um, security knowing that he's there by my side all the time and he'll never leave me. It's also given my family a sense of security because I don't think I would have been allowed to live in residence if I didn't have Willis. Like I almost feel like I can function normally like a normal person. Push, push. I don't know how I got around without having Willis because I couldn't open the doors on my own. I had to wait for somebody to come by. Or if I dropped something, I'd have to go and try and find somebody to pick it up so that I wouldn't lose it. Now with Willis by my side, I now can live independently. Having a dog guide really has transformed and improved my life. Now that man is with me, I always know that somebody's there when I have a seizure. It makes me feel really safe when I'm on my own. He alerts to my seizures by barking, and it's always good to know that there's somebody there. They're a very special dog. With uh, Hastings, we were always worried about him being unable to be himself or to be confident enough to go out in public um, or to excel at school and now with Manny there to reassure him, it's really allowed him to reach his full potential. He's a great assistance for Hastings and uh, just makes the quality of our lives so much better. There are many avenues one could look at in terms of therapy or treatment for a child with autism, but in our heart we knew that there was something Else. And once we found out about the Autism Assistance Program through Dog Guides Canada, we knew immediately that was something that we needed to pursue. The bond between Cash and Matthew is very unique. Cash watches over Matthew and that gives us a sense of security and safety because we know that uh, Matthew is tethered to Cash. Before Cash came into our lives, Matthew spent many hours of the day in a very anxious state where emotions are very, very high. So what Cash does is he provides that calming influence. We are able to go out together as a family rather than having one parent stay at home. This gives us perhaps a little bit more sense of a normal life than we had before. Cash is this added component to our family to just give us all another sense of life and encouragement and hope for the future. Lions Foundation of Canada provides six different kinds of dog guides. Service dog guides, hearing ear, canine vision, seizure response, autism assistance, and diabetic alert. 
Diabetic Alert Dog Guides are trained to help people who have type 1 diabetes with hypoglycemic unawareness. By scenting a change in their handler's breath, they're able to detect a drop in their handler's blood sugar and alert them. These dog guides are also trained to fetch a kit so that their handler can test their blood sugar levels and take glucose tablets or eat something sweet if needed. Their ability to detect and react to hypoglycemic episodes helps their handler avoid loss of consciousness and subsequent life-threatening effects. All dog guides spend the first year of their life living with a foster family, learning basic manners and being introduced to various social environments. They then return to Lions Foundation School for four to six months and learn skills that will assist their future handler. Once they complete their training, they are matched with their new handler, who comes to the school to train with them for one to four weeks. The end result is a working team, with each dog guide helping to provide greater safety, mobility, and independence daily. Each dog guide costs approximately $25,000 to raise and train which is why fundraising initiatives and donations are essential to enabling the Foundation to continue to meet the growing demand for dog guides and provide them to Canadians at no cost. With no government funding, the Foundation relies on the generosity of individuals, Lions Clubs, service organizations and corporations to provide necessary funding. One important source of funding is the Pet Value Walk for Dog Guides, the largest fundraiser of its kind in Canada. The walk takes place in more than 200 communities across the country, with 100% of the proceeds going towards the six dog guide programs. The Lions Foundation provides the broadest range of services that dog guides have been proven to assist. With your support, in the future the Lions Foundation can continue to develop new ways for dog guides to change lives.